Imagine a vibrant saffron-infused rice dish, brimming with seafood, meat, and vegetables, all cooked to perfection in a large, shallow pan. Welcome to the world of paella, a Spanish culinary icon. Born in the beautiful sun-drenched region of Valencia, Spain, paella is more than just a meal. It's a celebration of culture and tradition. Its name derives from the old French word paella, which translates to pan, an ode to the unique utensil that brings this dish to life. The humble origins of paella can be traced back to the humble Valencian farmers and laborers, who would cook this hearty dish over open fires, infusing the rice with the smoky flavors of the countryside. But what makes paella a true masterpiece, you ask? It's the symphony of ingredients that come together to create a vibrant, flavorful dish. The key players in this culinary performance are the saffron-infused rice, rabbit, and chicken. Each ingredient adds a distinct flavor profile, making paella a rich tapestry of tastes and textures. Now let's embark on our culinary journey. We begin by heating a splash of olive oil in a large, shallow pan, also known as a paellera. As the oil dances and shimmers under the heat, we introduce the rabbit and chicken pieces to the pan. The goal here is to achieve a beautiful, even browning. Be patient, my fellow food enthusiasts, for this is where we lay the foundation of flavors for our paella. As the meat sizzles and browns, it releases its juices, infusing the olive oil with a rich, savory flavor. This is an essential step in the making of paella, as it sets the stage for the ingredients that are yet to come. Listen to the sizzle, smell the aromas wafting through the air, and watch as the meat transforms from a raw pale pink to a gorgeous golden brown. With our meat perfectly browned, we're ready to dive deeper into the heart of this Spanish gem. As the meats sizzle, it's time to introduce the symphony of spices and vegetables that give paella its unique flavor. Imagine a burst of color, a medley of fresh, crisp green beans, butter beans, and ripe tomatoes. They take the center stage, infusing the dish with their vibrant hues and textures. The green beans with their tender crunch provide a delightful contrast to the smooth, creamy butter beans. The tomatoes with their juicy, sweet tang balance out the richness, adding a layer of complexity to the flavor profile of the dish. But what really sets paella apart is the generous sprinkle of spices that follow. A dusting of paprika, rich and smoky, lends a depth of flavor that is unmistakably Spanish. It's earthy, sweet, and slightly peppery, wrapping the dish in a warm, comforting embrace. And then there's saffron, the golden threads of flavor. The most expensive spice in the world, saffron is what gives paella its signature yellow hue and unique, sophisticated taste. It's floral, slightly bitter, and incredibly aromatic, adding a dimension of flavor that is both subtle and profound. Together, these ingredients create a harmony of flavors, each one contributing its own unique note to the symphony. They dance together in the pan, their aromas wafting up and filling the air with a scent that is mouth-wateringly irresistible. It's a sensory experience, a feast for the eyes and the nose before it even reaches your palate. And yet, despite the richness and complexity of these flavors, they never overpower the dish. Instead, they work together, enhancing and elevating each other, creating a dish that is greater than the sum of its parts. But as wonderful as these ingredients are, they are only the supporting cast. The star of the show is yet to make its entrance. It's a simple ingredient, but one that is absolutely essential to the dish. It's the ingredient that brings everything together, that takes all these wonderful flavors and melds them into something truly exceptional. Now that our spices and vegetables are in harmony, it's time to add the star of our show, the rice. In goes the short grain rice, absorbing all the beautiful flavors we've built so far. The rice, the heart and soul of any paella, is not just an ingredient but a sponge, soaking in the rich and heady broth that we've lovingly prepared. Each grain, a tiny capsule of flavor, is now beginning its transformation, the heat coaxing it to swell and soften, its texture shifting from hard and raw to tender and aromatic. But let's not rush this dance, it's a slow waltz, not a quick step. The rice needs time to absorb the flavors, to drink in the broth, to become imbued with the essence of saffron, the sweetness of the onions, and the smoky depth of the paprika. It's a symphony of tastes that take a little patience to perfect. And just when you think this dish can't possibly get any better, we introduce the seafood, the graceful dancers that complete this culinary ballet. Shrimp, with their sweet, succulent flesh, and mussels, with their briny hint of the sea, are added to the stage. Each one, carefully cleaned and prepared, is ready to lend its unique flavor to this masterpiece. 
The shrimp turn from a translucent gray to a vibrant pink, their shells curling as they cook, tucking themselves into a delicious huddle. The mussels on the other hand open up, their shells parting to reveal the tender meat within, as if welcoming the flavors of the dish into their fold. And so the dance continues, the rice and seafood moving together in a delicious rhythm, each element adding to the other, creating a harmony of flavors that is much more than the sum of its parts. This is the magic of paella, the interplay of elements, the dance of ingredients in a pan. With the rice simmering and the seafood cooked to perfection, our paella is almost ready for its final act. The anticipation builds, the aroma fills the air, and we can't wait to taste the fruits of this beautiful dance. Now for the grand finale, it's time to let our paella rest and simmer, allowing the flavors to fully marry. Ah, the final simmer. It's the moment when all the ingredients in our pan, each contributing its unique flavor, come together to create a symphony of taste. It's the stage where the magic truly happens. The rice having absorbed the rich stock, the tangy tomatoes, the sweet bell peppers, and the smoky saffron, has now become a canvas painted with vibrant colors and infused with mouth-watering aromas. But the final simmer is not just about the fusion of flavors, it's also about patience and restraint. It's about resisting the urge to stir the pot and allowing the heat to do its work undisturbed. This is the moment that creates the cherished sokarat, the crispy layer of rice at the bottom of the pan. A signature element of a true paella, the sokarat is a testament to the art of slow cooking. It's a token of authenticity, a badge of honor for any paella maker. The sokarat is not something that happens by accident. It requires careful control of heat and a keen sense of timing. Too little heat, and the sokarat won't form. Too much, and you risk burning the rice. The key is finding the right balance, letting the rice gently caramelize until it forms that coveted golden crust. And then, there's the waiting, the anticipation, the suspense. As the minutes tick by, the flavors continue to deepen, the aromas grow more intoxicating, and the sakarat slowly forms beneath the surface. It's a process that can't be rushed, a performance that deserves an audience. And finally, the reveal. Lifting the lid, you're greeted with a sight to behold, a pan full of perfectly cooked paella, the rice glistening with flavor, the sakarat adding a delightful crunch, the seafood nestled in like precious jewels. It's a moment of triumph, a celebration of the art of cooking. Our paella is now cooked to perfection, a beautiful medley of flavors ready to be served and savored. Paella is more than just a dish. It's a symbol of Spanish culture and tradition. This vibrant, aromatic feast encapsulates Spain's rich history and diverse influences. From the Moors who introduced rice cultivation, to the Romans who brought the pan in which this iconic dish is cooked. Paella, named after the pan it is cooked in, is a dish steeped in tradition and social significance. It's not just about the ingredients or the cooking method, but the communal experience it fosters. Historically, it was cooked over an open fire, a gathering point that brought people together. From the fields of Valencia where workers would gather around the fire, adding what they could to the communal pot, to today's festivals and family gatherings, paella is a dish that unites. In Spain, cooking paella is often a focal point of gatherings and festivals. It's a spectacle, an event in itself, with the large paella pan commanding attention as it simmers away, drawing people in with its enticing aroma and vibrant colors. The act of sharing paella, served straight from the pan, fosters a sense of unity and celebration. It captures the essence of Spanish hospitality, where food is not merely a meal, but a social event, a celebration of life and togetherness. This sense of unity and celebration is mirrored in our virtual culinary journey today, as we come together from all corners of the globe to explore and recreate this iconic dish. Each ingredient, each stir of the spoon, each simmer of the broth brings us closer to understanding and appreciating the rich tapestry of Spanish culture. So there you have it, a taste of Spain right in your kitchen. Until our next culinary adventure, happy cooking and buen provecho.